Hi all, this is Anand Krishnan. Today I am going to demonstrate you about own relationship of JDOS in Google App Engine. Before that we need to know how to create a web application project using Google App Engine and to deploy it. As well as we need to know how to use RESTlet web services in order to communicate with cross domain URL. In the sample web application project which I have created in Google App Engine, I have two JDOs. One is Task JDO and another one is Pending JDO. First, let me explain uh, what are all the owned relationship of JDOs available in Google App Engine. One is one to one and another one is one to many. In one to one, if we try to persist one record in parent and the corresponding child object will have uh, one record that is persisted along with it. And in the form of one to many, if one record is persisted in parent, the corresponding child object will have many records persisted along with it. This is how the relationship of JDOs will work. First, let me explain one-to-one -one relationship. Let's say task JDO as the parent and pending JDO as the child. In the task JDO, I have Google generated key as the primary key and the necessary fields that are to be included for this. Along with it, I have one special declaration for the child JDO that is pending JDO to be persisted um, with annotation at persistent and default fetch group equal to true. This annotation at persistent is needed in order to define our own type of data that is pending JDO to be persisted in the data store. Default fetch group equal to true. What it does is, if we try to fetch the parent object alone, it automatically fetches the child object that is pending JDO in a chain manner so that there will be no need for us to fetch the pending JDO separately. That is the child object separately. Let's see what the pending JDO has. It has Google generated key as the primary key and the necessary fields that are to be included for this JDO. And one more point to be noted is the child object should have Google generated key as the primary key because this is being used as a reference while we try to fetch the uh, child object through parent in a chain manner. And in both these JDOs, I have getters and setters for the fields that I have declared. Now I have a separate project with a standalone application. Before that, I have deployed this app engine project in the URL called relationTest.appspot.com. After that, I have exported these two JDOs, task JDO and pending JDO from the GAE application in the form of jar file and I have put it in this application so that I can use the JDOs here in order to uh, persist the data as well as get it. So I am going to explain you how one to one relationship works. I have instantiated the task JDO, set the corresponding fields for it as well as the child JDO with the specific fields that are to be included and I have set the uh, child object to the parent object that is task at last I am posting the task JDO that is parent JDO to my URL uh, relationTest.appspot.com through Reslet web services so what it does is it searches for the post annotation in my service class of Google App Engine application it will persist the task JDO so that the pending JDO that is the child JDO will also be persisted since we are setting the child object to parent and now I am trying to get the parent object through object representation. So I will get the task JDO along with the child object pending JDO's information. I am printing the pending JDO's information alone in system.out.println. So now I am going to execute this application. So you will see how this will work. So the task JDO and pending JDO has been persisted and I have got the child object data through parent. So this is the data which I have been trying to fetch. So now I will show you the proof how the data store is being persisted for one to one relationship. This is the task JDO and the corresponding pending JDO that is persisted is this one. So that's it. This is how the one to one relationship of JDOs in Google App Engine works. Simultaneously, we can use one to many relationship between these two that is except that in the declaration of child object for task JDO we need to include list of pending JDO that is the list of child JDOs to be persisted that's it no other changes and we need to specify the getters and setters correspondingly in the standalone application we will have the list of child objects and we will set the list of child objects to parent we will persist the same and we will get the corresponding data after persisting that's it thank you